Hello, uh, my name is Ari and I go to Fort Moody Secondary and I'm in grade 10. So, until grade 9, I always had this like fantasy of you know becoming a police officer when I'm older or a doctor or a lawyer or something, but that all changed when I entered high school. Things got a whole lot serious, especially after I joined the IB program. Everyone knew what courses to take in high school, what college or university they wanted to go to, or even if they wanted to go into trades. They knew exactly what courses to go into. So after a great deal of thinking and towards the end of my grade nine year, um, I kind of decided that I wanted to go into the sciences field because, to be honest, engineering didn't really interest me, no offense. And, uh, and you know, going to law, I mean, not my school didn't really offer any courses for law, and if they did, they were only for the mainstream kids, not the IB students. So I decided to keep my options open, and for my grade 11 and 12 year, I took all three science courses that were offered, offered at my school. But there was just a problem. My school simply offers physics, chemistry, and biology, the main courses that you would think when science comes, comes into your mind. Other schools offer, for example, psychology or biochemistry, but this is all we have. Nonetheless, that I took all three courses, but when I entered, when in my grade 10 year, currently right now, we're doing all these courses in one class called Science 10. But there was also one problem. When I'm doing these courses, all we're learning is how to do the theoretical work. We're not being taught when and where we can use these teachings into real life applications in job scenarios. And if I ever go online and look for online courses or apprenticeships, they're generally offered to college and university students. Why? Well, two reasons. The main reason, high school students are not mature enough to handle all these teachings and that we might goof around, which is definitely not true. Because just looking at one student who does something wrong, everyone just assumes that all teenage students are like this. And the second reason, which is quite obvious, college students or university students are much more, um, are much more smarter than us. They have, they've learned this subject for numerous years, and they've known the subject at a higher level. So what do I want? Well, I basically want a program or an opportunity where students can experience real life applications of what we're being taught at school. For example, Instead of learning how to write chemical compounds in my chemistry class, why can't we just learn when and where we're going to be using these if we ever decide to go into that industry? Because I'm just learning how to do the theoretical work, and to be honest, that's really easy, but I know so many students who have graduated high school and are going to the sciences field, and they're bombarded in their first year of undergrad because they do not know when they're going to use these applications, and as a result, they either drop out of that, those courses, or they fail. Or they might have to just retake the courses all over again, which is quite the pain, as you might imagine. So, I've come up with three possible solutions. Number one, shadowing a trained professional once or twice a week. Now, I know this might be a little difficult, but this seems like the most interesting and most viable solution, because what better than learning by a trained professional who's been in this industry for numerous years? They know better than all of us. They know how to do the theoretical work which we're being taught at school, and they've been doing they've been applying these skills into real life scenarios. Number two, inviting trained professionals in the area of expertise to talk about uh, what their jobs are like, maybe perhaps after school. So this is a very good opportunity for us students because First of all, we won't have to pay extra fees, and most of the costs will be cut from our school's um, income, and that can be gone towards these professionals coming to our school. And point one and point two, these ones are also relatively <coughs> simple because then again, there are so many resident students who are completing their master's degree in their university or college, and like I said before, they know these topics at a higher level compared to high, um, high school students. And number three, Setting up online courses. Now there are many online courses such as Khan Academy. However, when I go on these websites, I do not understand anything because they use all these really important and high terms that I just my, my mind cannot comprehend these terms. So I'm just I'm just hoping that maybe 
um, chamber of commerce or many businesses who are in this industry can set up online courses through their organization or through a hospital who can you know teach high school students you know uh, what the heart does what the liver does or anything related to, related to sciences and number four is not so much of a solution but it's just that other programs offer uh, offer these experiences however they're very expensive for example encounters with Canada these are very expensive because they're like $800 to $1,000 for just one week, and that's excluding airfare tickets. So if you have to go to Ontario, just add another $400, $500 for air airfare tickets, and there goes $1,500. That is a lot of money. And even if I was to go, I still wouldn't choose to go, because this per one week period is during exam week. So when you try to balance it out, would, would I rather go for this life-changing experience for a whole week, or would I have to miss my exams and have to retake a course? I would pretty, I'm pretty sure that taking, doing the exams and not having to retake a course is ways much more heavier than actually going for a life-changing experience. So my ask is very simple. I simply want a trained professional that can create apprenticeship programs or simply come to our high school and teach their area of expertise, which could be sciences. In my case, I want to do that. So I, I would really like if the Chamber of Commerce or many businesses or maybe like small organizations located in hospitals could create such programs for us high school students so we can learn real life applications of all the theoretical work that we're being taught at school. Thank you.